I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Okay, everybody, now it's officially beef. You guys all know the beef doesn't officially start until the goons and the crash outs come out to play. We have our first official sacrifice, I mean, uh, crash outs of this Drake versus Kendrick and future beef. Drake's number one guy, top flight goon, Baka not nice. He sent in a message to any rappers beefing with Drake, any rappers choosing sides against Drake and OVO. And quite frankly, I'm not even sure why he's doing this publicly because every rapper has their own sort of goons. But after seeing all the hoopla go going on in the rap game against Drake, people unfollowing him, people speaking out, all the disses, Baka Not Nice is putting out this message to let people know he's not playing. Baka said yesterday, you new niggas kill me. Y'all talk like bitches. I'll see any of you niggas dolo. No phones, just thumb box and kick. Come to the back, nigga. Play if you want. You know me. I'll clap it. No diddy. Ain't nothing bigger than the O. Nothing. Hashtag over your sound. And finally, Baka says, pick a side? Nigga, we don't pick. We slide on a live, niggas. Look at that, man. Baka is restoring the feelings of rap beef. But unfortunately, I do not think any of these rappers are intimidated. The worst thing that can happen to any rapper that's beefing with Drake right now is maybe if you're caught lacking somewhere overseas, Baka and Drake sees you, you might get a little pow pow. But most rappers are smart, they move with security, and if the rappers are in the States, they move with at least 50 people. Now, not sure if this message was authorized by Drake or not, but you kind of get the feeling that Baka would not be sending this message out if Drake did not have a say in it. But listen, man, all that tough shit is cool, it sounds good on Instagram, but the fans and the people just want the raps. We don't want bloodshed, we don't want anybody getting shot at, we don't want any shootouts, happening all we're asking from your boy drake is for him to rap don't give us some bullshit motivational speech we don't care that you're on tour you are drake my guy you have easy access to any studio that you want write your raps when you get off stage and go spit them at the studio drake's dad dennis also reacted to this beef he said yo i'm about to drop some new music and i'm not sure if it's going to sell but i'm going to call some of my homies and then get them to start a beef with drake and get them to unfollow him and that's going to make my shit shoot up to number one i'm sure this is going to work so let me get some people on board for this and watch what kind of attention this gets obviously using a very sarcastic tone to reference what's been happening lately and i do agree the whole unfollowing on instagram thing is weird i guess if people don't want to drop this record they just hit the unfollow button and that's a way to let you know which side they've chosen so far we're hearing words and captions from drake's camp drake we're still waiting on that record brother you guys let me know what you guys think about Baka not nice threatening any rappers beefing with Drake and also anybody choosing sides. Post comments below, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys later, man. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop.